Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a small leather goods company called Norfolk Handmade out of Toronto, Canada. I have a few of their wallets here, so let's check them out. Norfolk Handmade, specializing in small batch and private label leather wallets and accessories out of Toronto, Canada. And they both came with a couple thank you cards right there. So this guy right here is their first stitchless design. This is the Logos wallet. I'm hoping it's pronounced Logos. I'll put the spelling on the screen right here. It's either Logos or Logos. And then this guy right here is their Nomo wallet. Now this is the very first time checking out anything from this company. Actually, Justin got a hold of me asking me if I wanted to check out some of their gear. And of course I accepted. And if I like what I see, I pass the information on to you guys and make you guys aware of small companies like this. So let's start here with the Nomo wallet. I'll put these off to the side. So this Nomo wallet is handmade from black and burgundy Mexico leather from MB Palami. That's a small tannery in Tuscany, Italy that I am not familiar with at all. But I really like this leather. It sort of looks like Pueblo Badalassi Carlo to me. Just based on that marbling and grain right there, it looks very similar. And I'll give you a close up on that hand stitching. That is a caramel super linen thread from Macy. Now guys, at this point, I've seen hundreds of minimalistic leather wrap wallets of this style. So I'm not really looking at the styling per se. I'm gonna be looking more at the quality, see if the edges are burnished and wax nice, which they absolutely are, as you can see. And of course, one of the main things, the stitching and the hand stitching here looks pretty decent. Now it might look a little bit thin, but if you're not familiar with Macy Super Linen, it's a very strong, thin thread. And then I take a look at any large obnoxious branding on the wallet, which this one isn't too bad. You can see the Norfolk handmade logo stamp right there on the front and then once again right there on the back. So from a branding standpoint, it's really not that bad even though I would just like this logo right here. Kind of like that, it's like two sharks swimming in a circle and then I can do without this right here. Only because two branding stamps on one wallet, you guys know how I feel about that but Let's move on. Now being a minimal leather wrap wallet, this is meant to hold cards rather than cash. Even though yes, it technically can carry cash, but it's made mainly to carry your cards. A maximum of five in the center pocket and then one each on these quick access card pockets on the outside. Here's five flat cards. Let's just stick them all in there at once. You can see there's plenty of room in there. And then one each on the outside, your most used credit cards. And yeah, absolutely. In fact, there's still a lot of room in this center pocket, but I don't like to overstuff the cards in the middle because once you have cards on the outside of a wallet like this, it sort of sandwiches that center pocket together, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But with a design like this, with two pieces of leather wrapped and plenty of room in that center pocket, I don't think you're gonna have that problem here. And even though it's not designed for cash, I'm just gonna show you I have 10 American dollar bills, fold it in the quarters and you can see if you wanted to, you can get away with putting cash in there, but obviously if you push it down too far, it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to get out those bills. Only because of this design right here, it's just flat across. There's no semi-circular cutouts or anything to easily grab it. So if you're going with the Nomo, stick with cards. And like I said, I am not familiar with this Mexico leather from MB Palami. So I'm gonna give it a quick smell test. Yes. That smells great. I love that smell. So it definitely passes the smell test. So I don't know the prices on these yet. I'll look that up at the end of this video and tell you guys what the current prices are. But let's move on to the Logos wallet. And once again, Justin, if I'm butchering that name, I apologize, but it's either Logos or Logos. But this wallet, as I mentioned earlier, is their very first stitchless design. And as of the recording of this video, is their latest wallet. It's handmade from a single piece of russet glazed harness from Wicked and Craig. And I love Wicked and Craig leather, so I'm gonna give this a quick smell test as well. Yes. Yes, sir. It's a horizontal style wallet with a flap and, oh, looks like there's some swag in here. We have another Norfolk card and a couple stickers. That is very cool. Thank you very much, Justin. So this fairly large center pocket right here can hold up in nine cards and you can even store your bills folded in half in there. Now let's take a look at the back here. So this tab is locked into place right there. And if I show you the back, you can see where that tab is locked in. Now where these tabs come together and lock in, this also creates another card slot. So we can hold another card back here and technically this fold right here with this tuck closure. You can also hold another card right there. So that would be a total of 11 cards plus cash. So let me test that out. Nine flat cards. Let's stick 
all nine in at once in that center pocket. First time I'm using this wallet, obviously, so it's gonna be just a little bit stiff. You can see making the creases right there, that's good. So that's nine cards, let's tuck in the flap right there. Let's put in one more card in that back card slot right there. And let's test out my theory of putting another card right here in the front in the flap. And hmm, maybe I'm wrong here. I think technically I could, but you can see I'm starting to stretch out that front too much. So I'm not gonna do that. So 10 cards, nine in that center pocket, and then one in the back. Now the question becomes, can I fit these 10 American dollar bills behind these nine cards? Fold it in half. And I think I'm just trying to overload this wallet too much. So I took out all the cards and cut the bills in half. So this is five American dollar bills just to see how cash fits in this interior pocket. And you can see those 10 bills were fitting correctly. This is just how he intends for your bills to fit in the wallet. So to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of how my American dollar bills fit in this wallet because when it's closed up, you can see how that front flap fits in that tuck closure. So technically it can fit your bills folded once in half, but for me, I think I'm gonna go with my bills folded in the quarters and they're just gonna fit in there like this. Or let's test out this back tuck closure right here folded in half. And they do fit back there as you can see, but once they're closed in, you're just gonna have a little bit of your bills hanging out over the top like that. All right, so let's try this again. Nine maximum cards in the middle, one in the back there, 10 American dollar bills. I'm gonna fold these into quarters this time and stick them behind those cards, all right? And then tuck it all together and you can see, yeah, that works. So guys, it's obviously gonna be based on where you're from and what sort of bills, what dimensions your bills are. If you have larger bills or smaller bills than my American dollar bills right here, you can basically figure out if you can fold your bills once or do you have to fold them into quarters. And I almost forgot to talk about the branding on the Logos wallet right here. So you can see the Norfolk logo stamp right there on the front and then when you take out the flap, there's the other logo stamp right there. So I'm on the Norfolk Handmade website right now. It looks like the Logos wallet is $55 Canadian, and I'll put the conversions on the screen right now. And the Nomo wallet right here without the X stitching is $70 Canadian. But I'll put a link to the Norfolk Handmade website in my description box below so you can check up-to-date pricing for yourself. But overall, I really like these two wallets. If I had to choose, I would go with the vertical style minimalist Nomo wallet right here. Taking nothing away from the Logos wallet, I do like this stitchless design here, but you guys know I tend to lean more towards vertical than horizontal style wallets. And I'm really curious about this Mexico leather from Tuscany, Italy. You can see what I'm talking about when I say it looks very much like Pueblo. I'm going to look more into this leather because I really like it, and this is the very first wallet that I have or ever checked out with this type of leather. But overall, Justin, I really like your wallets. I like what you're doing here, and I'm going to go check out some other wallets that you have on your website. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the wallets from Norfolk Cam Aid? Now, if you wanna check these out for yourself, I'll have all the information down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!